guys and gals, it's Darthuma here. I'm a relatively new content creator, so if you like what I create and want to see more, please comment, like, and subscribe. It would help me out immensely. I also stream almost daily over at twitch.tv slash Darthuma. I am trying to reach affiliate over there, so if you could drop a follow, that would be very nice. A little bit about me before I start the review, I am a variety gamer. I play anything from first person shooters to RPGs and indies. I live and breathe games. I plan on doing many more Let's Plays and review the game after I am done. I also wanted to say in the very near future I will be getting a new microphone so the audio quality should vastly improve. A beloved internet comic, Cyanide and Happiness, has been transformed into the realm of video games, Battle Royale style, developed by Galvanic Games and Explosive Games, published by Tiny Build. Rapture Rejects is an early access, top-down, isometric shooter indie game where the rapture has happened and you didn't make the cut. You and the other rejects have to battle to be the last one standing while also avoiding the enclosing circle of Hellfire. As a reject, you have several items to use at your disposal, including the F-bomb that drops a giant f green when deployed, or a healing area of effect disco ball that summons angels to mend your broken bones. Armed with several choices of weaponry, ranging from the blunderbuss, sniper, or even a toaster full of knives, you explore the map to loot, shoot, and scoot. With several chests scattered around, and drops from the Heavenly Father himself, there's plenty of loot to be found, like armor or buffs that can improve your range of sight or movement speed. There are even satellite radar dishes that help zoom out the isometric view to scan for the next unfortunate soul to send to the afterlife. The better you do in a match, the more tickets you receive to spend in the built-in game show called Sinners and Winners, where you use the tickets to spin the Wheel of Fortune and receive some customizable character skins. My personal favorite combination was the Daisy Duke shorts and Shark Dad head. Overall, the game gave me a vibe that it would translate to the mobile gaming genre really well. I genuinely don't have any complaints with this game. The performance was spectacular and the gameplay was interesting enough while providing me with a couple good laughs. However, I don't think I can find myself playing this for hours on end, but in smaller chunks of occasional binging. If you are a fan of the comics and would like to show your support, I would say it's worth it. At $20 on Steam, some might find it a little steep of a purchase for what feels like a high grade mobile game experience on the PC. Personally, I'm going to wait for it to drop in price before purchasing. Or even wait to see if it does get ported to the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. As always, you can find the link in the description down below. Thanks for hanging out and have a great day. Go.